Yeah. Now, had you heard about John Paul II's theology of the mm -hmm. body at this yeah, point? Yeah, I studied it a little bit in college. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was a theology major, so I studied it a little bit, and I knew it definitely from a head perspective. Or that so this, more an academic. Definitely, mm -hmm. yeah, or like attending um, like chastity talks or workshops or things like that, but not in the way, not to anybody's fault or anything, right. my heart wasn't totally integrated um, to where when I came here in... 2012 in October, um, thinking I'm coming to like learn all of this information and I'm going to go back and be like the best youth minister ever. <laughs> and I mean, that was definitely not true, but um, that I was going to gain all of this knowledge and be able to articulate things better and understand masculinity, femininity, sexuality, which, which I did, but I didn't expect to come and encounter myself so much and encounter Jesus encountering me mm. if Ooh, that makes sense i love that expression so encounter jesus <laughs> encountering me mm -hmm. beautiful mm -hmm. so it um from like the first night i was just very aware that this is going to be different and you taught my first course um huh. yeah back I, re then. I remember you yeah. when you came in <laughs> as mm -hmm. ashley mm -hmm. and i remember meeting you that week 10 years ago i can't believe it was yeah. 10 years ago <laughs> But I, I remember you immediately when I saw you, there was, there was a light in your face mm -hmm. and I was attracted to that light in your face. And I also, uh, here at the Institute, we have a, a whole approach to teaching these courses that we've learned over the years where we, we, we are carrying our students in, in prayer. And, and I remember you coming in and almost a realization like, oh, that's who I've been carrying in prayer. Mm -hmm. And we have a prayer team for every course that we teach who the prayer team is there to intercede for the students while we're offering the course. You know this because you've been on prayer team mm -hmm. now a couple of times. And there was, there was a sense among the prayer team that the Lord was going to do something mighty in your life that week. <laughs> uh, and and he, wow. he did. Mm -hmm. what, can you share that a little bit with mm -hmm. our viewers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, just, just realizing that um, Jesus has redeemed my entire person and doesn't just want to um, like make it better, but that he came in the flesh as a vulnerable man, a vulnerable baby and then a vulnerable man, and, um, and experienced rejection and experienced loss and pain, and yet um, like offered himself completely and these are all things that I knew, but at the same time, I'm starting to to think about like, how do I really feel about being little? And like, I'm good now, you know, but there's so much that that I want Jesus to have all of me, and yet I can still get um, set off by little things, or like I have maybe some like unresolved grief over ways that I was not loved yes. in the past. Um, and so as these things started to come up, like I was just in such a safe place and such a beautiful place to like to bring that to Jesus in the moment. So like we'd be in class and you would say something about um, redemption or woundedness or um, how like in the beginning it wasn't like this. Like this isn't this isn't Jesus's plan, like our brokenness and our depravity and the people that have that have everyone who's hurt you or who has has not received your, you know, your unique unrepeatability. Yeah. Um, that's that's all like belongs in the heart of Jesus. And um, so I just started to like experience these defenses coming down, which I was so surprised by because like I was happy and um, living a fulfilled life, but there was just like, there was so much more that he wanted to give me um, and like give back to me, I think, um, parts of me that I just didn't let shine or didn't let, um, let be healed and particularly um, so it's building up over like several days and going to mass and going to confession and just um, yes just like just offering my whole self to Jesus like brokenness and all and yet um, one day when we started covering the sections on the resurrection of the body that was when like the lid came off and I was just like 
oh my gosh, Jesus, like you really want me forever in heaven, not like some like (laughs) ethereal spiritualized version of me or like when I get to heaven, then I'll be five foot seven and I don't know. Um, But that like every wound and every pain and everything that I'm thinking about this week or that I will experience or that my family has experienced, that you are going to redeem that. Not just like wash it away, you know, like you're not going to take an eraser and say, sorry about earth, let's try again in heaven, yeah, yeah. but that um, that he wants to raise all of me and that my wounds will shine with his glory mm, and with his mm. life. Um, I, I was, it was like hook, line, and sinker at that point, you know? I was just like, Jesus, yeah, it's you and it's me and that's what I want and I desire you and I desire my healing and I desire freedom um, and this is still gonna be hard. Like I know I'm still going yes. to experience pain, but um, but just to say like, yeah, I believe in the resurrection of the body and to hear how John Paul II talked about that and how um, how we will be glorified. Like that's a promise that Jesus has made me, has made me that I know he will fulfill. Thank you.